Okay, hi, welcome to my video. <laughs> welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making a very cute granny square crochet top that I designed. If you want the pattern for this project um, and you work better at looking at a picture or words on a piece of paper, I did link it down below in the description box. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and it shouldn't take you too long to get through. If you use this video or enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Let's get started. For this project, I used these colors of yarn. You can really, you only really need three different colors to alternate by, but I wanted a couple more colors, so these are the five I used. They are the Sugar and Cream um, brand, 100% cotton. I have also made this project with 100% acrylic yarn, and it came out the same size. So, you will also need a outline color or a color that you use on the outline of all of your squares and on the bottom ruffle and things like that. So make sure you have a consistent outline color. You can also just um, do all different, which is fine, but I like to have a cohesive outside color. All right, and for the size hook, you will need a 4.5 milliliter crochet hook. That's what I use. And I also, you will also need a pair of scissors and some crochet needles as well as a measuring tape measuring tape to fit it to your size so let's go ahead and get started the way that I size this pattern is for every granny square the granny square should be five inches by five inches so what you do is you measure your bust which is basically around your chest area. And mine came out to 40 inches. So 40 inches divided by five inches equaled eight squares. So I will have to make eight squares to go all the way, all the way around my body. So that's eight squares all the way around my body and this top is two squares long. So we will need to be making 16 big squares. And for the straps, you just measure, once you have this piece put on, you measure it, how many straps it'll take you um, to make these. And I'll tell you how many I made. So, my fits a medium to large size person. If you need to make more, I would just increase your granny squares to give you more space around the sides. Or more space on your straps if you need them to be longer or shorter. Let's get started. So, first, we're going to make... I'm going to show you how to make the granny square. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start off with pick one of your colors. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color and you're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to make a slip knot like this and you're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay, chain four. Then you're going to insert your hook into the first chain and slip stitch. So now you have this circle to work in. <clears throat> so now you're gonna wanna chain three And then you're going to put two double crochets in the middle of that circle. And while you're doing this, what you want to do is make sure this thread stays kind of out of the way, your extra thread. Double crochet. You're going to want to make one more. So as you work, you want to kind of move your double crochets down. But see this extra piece? We're going to try and keep that with your circle and just double crochet around it so it kind of disappears and we can just cut it off without having to weave it in. So you're going to make another double crochet, so yarn over, insert your hook into the middle, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the second two loops. So now you should have your three chains, your two double crochets, and then you're going to chain two. 
then you're going to do three double crochets in the middle. Three. You're going to want to try and move them down the circle so you should start seeing this middle part being built. This is your first little corner and you just keep going. So chain two again, one, two, and then three double crochets. three. So you're starting to see the square kind of forming. Your chain twos after every three double crochets is your corner spaces. So we're going to do another one, chain two, and then three double crochets in the center. And then chain two, and then you're going to find the top of the very first three chains that you did, and then you're going to slip stitch. So you should have something that looks like this. There's four corners. And then what you're going to want to do is fasten off. So for me, you can just fasten off here to change colors, or just for extra protection, I like to slip stitch again into the next stitch just to make sure it doesn't unravel. And then I usually chain and then I take my scissors. This is how I fasten off. But you can fasten off however you usually do. I'm just paranoid, so <laughs> I usually do it like this. So then you take your scissors and you cut your yarn. I need sharper scissors. Pull through, tighten it, and now you have a square. Now this part at the bottom um, we did crochet all the way around the string, so you could cut it, but I am paranoid, so we are going to thread that in later. But I'm going to show you a really cool way to crochet over these threads so you can just cut them and you don't have to weave them in and out because that is the longest process when it comes to these. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your next color. We're going to go ahead and use this darker color. You're going to make a slip knot. And then where your thread ends, you're going to go right to the corner before that one. And this is how we're going to thread in our ends to where you don't have to weave them in at the end. So you put your hook into the corner of the chain 2 space before you hit this thread. And then you're going to pull this through and you're going to slip stitch. You're going to slip stitch and now your yarn is on there. So something you're going to want to make sure you do first is push down your thing to the bottom your hook to the bottom of the corner. You're going to take this extra piece from slip from slip knotting and you're going to want to hold it right here while you crochet so you're crocheting over it. And I'll show you what that does. So, you're going to chain 3 and then you're going to double crochet two times, so two double crochets. And as I'm doing my double crochets, I'll show you, but as I'm doing them, when I yarn over, I insert my hook, I want to make sure this extra piece of thread is pushed up against the project because we're trying to crochet it into the project so we can just cut it off. So you've done your three crochets, your two double crochets. You're going to want to push them down to make some more space. Now this is a corner, so we're going to have to make another corner here, meaning we're going to do two, chain two. We're going to chain two and then in the same chain space we're going to do three double crochets so one two oh i got caught up and three for this corner we're done see how we've made another corner perfect now if you were holding your yarn right 
your extra piece here should be crocheted over and you can just cut this off, which we'll do at the end of this row. We are going to repeat. So we're gonna do this and then we're going to chain two at the end. We're going to repeat what we just did here, but in every space around. And in this next space, we're gonna hold this extra piece right against the back as we crochet so we can crochet it in. So three double crochets. this chain two. Oh, I picked it up <clears throat> three double crochets so it should look something like this and then you're going to chain two and you're going to do the same thing in this hole and this hole so you're going to just let this drop now and you're going to do three double crochets, chain two, 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 and then I'll meet you at the end. At the end, you're going to chain two, should look something like this, and then you're going to find the top of your chain three, and then you're going to slip stitch to finish it off. So it should look something like this then for you can fasten off here which for me means I'm gonna slip stitch again into the next stitch and then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to cut my yarn and pull it through now what we're gonna do to get rid of these extra threads and get them out of our way is we're gonna flip our project over we're leaving the center thread because we're gonna weave it in later and it helps to be able to pull it tight but these two threads here that we purposefully crocheted over, we can just go ahead and cut those off and they won't come unraveled because you already crocheted over them. So it's two less strings that we have to weave in later. Now right now you should only have two strings left. So this is where you would stop if you were making your straps. Um, obviously you don't want to use your outline color to make your straps, but your straps are only two rounds of this. So when it comes time to make your straps, which for me, I had to make 12 small squares for my straps. So if you wanna go ahead and do that now, you can go ahead and do that. But we're gonna go ahead and continue on to show you how to make the big squares. Now the big squares have three colors and then the outline color. So we only have to do two more rows of this. So go ahead and get your next color. For me, I'm gonna use this color. And then you find your end. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same thing you did just a second ago. So you're gonna slip knot, put your hook in there, tighten it up. And then when you're looking for the corner to put your hook into, find your string, make sure that's in the top left, and put your hook in the top right corner. So again, you're just going to slip stitch to connect your yarn, push it down all the way, so it's kind of down here. Make sure you grab this back string right here and hold it against your project while you crochet like we did earlier. You're going to chain three and then put two double crochets into the corner. chain two, three double crochets in the same corner. Now your corner is done. You can go ahead and drop this back thread out of the way. And now we're doing something a little different than the last row. You have this middle space. So for the middle space, you're going to chain two, and then you're gonna place three double crochets in the middle space.
one, two, three, and then there's your middle space. So then you're going to chain two and you're going to do what you do in the corner. So three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And remember for this corner, you're going to want to hold that extra piece of yarn against your project while you crochet so that it's easy to just cut off in the end. And if at any point in this project you need to pause, feel free to do so. Chain two, three double crochet. And then you're going to chain two at the end of your corner and do three double crochets in this middle piece. And then chain two. So to finish this row, you're gonna keep doing that pattern. So in the corners, you're gonna do three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet and then chain two, and do three double crochets, chain two. Keep it going all the way till you reach back here. Okay, you've crocheted all the way around, chain two, and now it's time to do what we did in the last row and slip stitch and fasten off. Okay, you're left with something that looks like this. And then you're going to want to flip it over and find the two strings that you crocheted over and snip them off to get them out of the way. And now you're left with this square with three different colors. So now you're going to want to take your outlining color, which for me is this color, and you're going to do the same thing we just did, but on the last row. And you're going to attach it just like we attached the other colors earlier the slip knot and then find the corner put your string on the left top corner and find this corner and go ahead and attach your yarn <clears throat> and we're gonna do the same thing we've been doing so chain three two double crochets to start this counts as your first double crochet so chain three two double crochets Chain two, three double crochets. Three. So here's your corner, and then you're going to want to chain two, place three double crochets here, chain two, place three double crochets here. These two are like the middle piece from before. Chain two, three double crochets. chain two. Now you're going to repeat what you just did, these three things, here, here, and here, and then just keep it going all the way until you get back to where you started. And you've just placed your last three double crochets and it's time to finish. So you're going to chain two and then you're going to find the top of the chain three you did, slip stitch into that, and then go ahead and fasten off, however you fasten off. You can tell my scissors are very dull. So I go ahead and pull through, pull tight, flip it over, uh, find the two strings that you weaved in, well not weaved but crocheted over, 
and just cut those suckers off. Then you should be left with a square. Now, just to make sure you're on the right track, make sure you measure your square. It should be roughly, <laughs> my cat decided to join us, roughly five inches in length and width. So five inches both ways and mine is, so we're good to go. And now um, for me, since this is five inches and my, my measuring around with a little bit of um, wiggle room is about 40 inches so you're gonna need to make five times eight to get to 40 so eight of these to go all the way around and then we want the top to be two squares long so you're gonna need a total of 16 if you're near the same size as me um, a total of 16 of these big squares and 12 small squares these bad boys so go ahead and go make your squares and come back and we'll talk about what to do next okay welcome back you should have a fat stack of 16 big squares and 12 little squares and a whole bunch of threads hanging out so what we're gonna want to do first and foremost to get them out of the way is go through every square flip it over and use your crochet needle and a pair of scissors to weave in your ends and get them out of the way. So basically I'll show you how to do this the first time and then I'll let you go and do all your squares and then come back. You're going to want to thread your needle like this and then take your project and find the spot to just weave in the thread so I kind of I don't really have a system to this I just weave back and forth sometimes I'll make a knot um, sometimes I'll do a lot sometimes I'll only do it like twice and then I take my pair of scissors and I just get really close and I just chop it off so you're gonna want to do that with every piece of string on all of your squares and then come back once you have all your squares done you're gonna want to lay them like this my cats love getting in the way but here are my straps 12 total so you're gonna want to make a row of six and a row of six and you're going to fold them together like this and then single crochet along the top and do that all the way down so you have straps and when it comes to the other squares you're gonna want to make a layout of two by eight and single crochet them together all the way down the middle and then down each side until you have one big piece. So once this piece is also sing single crocheted together, we'll come back and I'll show you how to attach the ends and then I will show you where to put the straps on. How to single crochet something together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, we're gonna start with the straps because it's shorter. So. What you do is you're taking your outlining color and you're going to make a slip knot and then put your hook in there. So you're going to take your two pieces, okay? These are the back sides of my pieces, so the pieces that will be on your skin, touching your skin, not on the outside. And then you're going to want to fold them back like this so it's, it's the back side of the project and the back side of the project like this. And then you're going to line them up kind of like a little sandwich um, and then you're gonna take your hook and you're gonna put it in the corners of the project and then you will slip stitch through and attach your yarn into that corner so what I'm gonna do is I'm when I single crochet I'm gonna single crochet over this thread so I can cut it off at the end and I don't have to weave it in so what you want to do is you want to take your hook and you're going to put it through let's get this out of the way. You're going to put it through the first space or not space but the first crochet stitch in the first piece and then the crochet stitch in the second piece and you're going to pull through and then you're going to yarn over and you're going to pull through like that. And then you're just going to keep going. So you're going to put your hook into the second stitch of both pieces. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both stitches. 
and just keep going. So put your hook into the stitches of both pieces, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And then in this chain space, and then just continuously through your stitches on both pieces, doing single crochets. And you're just gonna do this across the one row, the one side of your square, until you end up in the corner of both pieces like this. And then you're going to chain one, cut your string with a sharper pair of scissors. <laughs> And then, and then pull tight. So, it should look something like this. You're gonna have a fun little seam. So, there's this piece of string that you held down. You held this piece of string down while you crocheted, so you can cut that one off. So now you only have to weave this one in later. So your project should look something like this now. There should be like a seam but this side is the side that's going to be against your skin and this side is going to be the side that shows to everybody else. So it should look very seamless on the outside and then there should be a seam on the inside. Now go ahead and do that for all of the stuff I just showed you and then meet me back here. Okay, so once everything is single crocheted together, you're going to have this one long strip. What you're going to want to do to connect it is you're going to take the um, side with the seams that you just made and you're going to want to flip it. So this is your outside, this is what your outside should look like, what other people will see when you're wearing it. And then you're going to take the ends and you're going to attach them together like that. And then you're going to take the ends and just fold it like so, single crochet crossed. So all the way on this side and the other side you should have these seams and once you've done that go ahead and come back and I'll show you where to attach your straps okay once you are done attaching it and it's just one big tube top um, you're gonna go ahead and fold it to look like this there should be four on each side and you can kind of fold it to where the colors that you want are showing on the side so I'm gonna do it like this and then I still haven't um, weaved in my ends, which we can do after attaching these straps. You're gonna wanna lay it out like so. And then you're gonna wanna take your straps, make sure you have the seamed side, fold it out like this on both sides. And where you attach is really up to you, but I'm gonna show you where I attach mine. So. If you take the top of the row, you're going to attach the edge of these to the edge right here, like this. So you're going to attach here, and then on this side, you attach to the edges, edges of these two squares to the edges of these two squares just like that on both sides after you attach the straps you should be left with something like this very cute this is inside out and then when we flip it to be right side out it looks something like this very cute so now i'm going to show you how to do the lining on the bottom of the top to make it kind of more cute um and let's do that and then we'll be done we now have the top on the table um here are where the straps are and we're gonna make sure that it is right side out when we do this so we're gonna go ahead and work along the bottom edge of the of the shirt i'm gonna call it a shirt that way i don't say top and bottom and get it all mixed up so we're gonna be working along this bottom edge of your project first you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is i would like i usually start in the corner um but you're going to take your outlining color of yarn and you're going to attach it by slip stitching it into any chain space. Attach this to the bottom right corner of your project using the same 
size hook that we've been. Like so. So you're gonna take this bottom right corner and find an opening and go ahead and attach it to your shirt. Okay. Once it's attached, you're going to chain three. So you're going to chain three, and we're gonna work all the way along the bottom row uh, um, until you reach back to where you started. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do three, we're working in these stitches. We're going to do three double crochets. So in the first stitch, in the first stitch you're doing one double crochet, and do a double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch. So three double crochets. And then you're gonna get to a chain space. So once you're in this chain space, you're gonna do an increase. So what an increase in this case would be is putting two double crochets in this space. So one, two. Two double crochets in that space. And then you're gonna repeat it, so you're gonna do three double crochets, one in each stitch, one, two, three, and then you're back at a gap and you're going to do two double crochets in this gap, what's known as an increase. So one and two again in the same gap. You're going to rep repeat this three, two, three, two process so you have gone all the way around the bottom of your top until you get to where you started, where you did your first chain three right here. Once you get all the way back, come and join me. Okay, now you've done it all the way around the bottom of your project and you're ready to finish this row. So you're just going to slip stitch into the top of the chain three that you did in the beginning. And now we're gonna do the last row of our project, which gives you like the little um, fluffle things at the bottom. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain one. After you chain one, you're going to two, do two single crochets. One in the first stitch, one in the next stitch. So you've done two single crochets. This is what it looks like. And then you're going to chain three. Two, three. And then you're going to want to slip stitch into the first chain that you did like this and it creates this little like bump and then you're going to do two more single crochets one two and then you're going to chain three and slip stitch into the first chain again and you're going to repeat this all the way around until you get back to where you started. So just repeat two single crochets, chain three, and slip stitch into the first chain. You should start to get what looks like these little bumps. And that's what you want. So do that all the way around and then slip stitch back into where you started fasten off and you're done you made it to the end of the video congratulations i hope you have a cute crochet top if there are any questions that were not answered in this video please leave a comment down below and i will get back to you as soon as possible i hope you had fun making this top with me and if you did like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this thanks for watching